Engineer 775 here wanting to talk to you um, about a, uh, another prepping tip. Um, if you ever have to bend copper tubing, and whether you're making a heat exchanger or some sort of water heater, you just need to, whether you're doing it in a stove pipe, there's a lot of different ways, um, there are a lot of different reasons to make a copper coil. Um, one of those could be making a uh, still, but I'm not promoting that or making fuel or whatever. But anyway, <laughs> what I'm playing around with today is I'm going to bend some copper tubing and I've got a pipe set up here that I want to, because I want a four inch diameter uh, coil. And uh, one of the tricks I, I learned is uh, one of the ways to, to bend copper tubing without kinking it is to fill it with water, put it in the freezer overnight and uh, then bring it out and attach it to this pipe and then wrap it and the ice inside the copper keeps the uh, copper from crushing so let's see if we can do this okay here's my copper coil inside the freezer you can see the water has expanded out and it's expanded out on both ends which would keep the pipe from freezing because usually if it, obviously copper pipe under pressure will bust so here's my copper pipe I filled it with water I left the two ends high and now I'm going to take this and basically attach one end to that pipe and start rolling it. So let's see how we do. You going? Mm -hmm. Hey, we're back here. Got my frozen. It's hot. I don't have much time to do this. What I've done, what I've done here is um, basically clamped the copper tubing to this pipe, and I'm going to start rolling it around this pipe. Again, it's full of ice. So I'm going to just keep working this thing around the pipe. You don't have to be in a hurry. Take your time. You hear the ice just cracking away. But what it's doing is not allowing that, not allowing the copper to so I just keep pulling that coil around, keep wrapping it around, pull it tight, and that ice just a cracking. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Now you can buy casting compounds, uh, bismuth being one of them. You can buy bismuth, I think McMaster Car has it, 50 bucks for a pound and a half. And you can put that casting metal inside your tubing and it melts about 150 degrees. But that's a pain in the neck. This is the quick and dirty way. You can see the ice come, coming out of here. And uh, just to prove that I'm using ice and uh, just wrapping this tubing around. Oh, so I think I got a pretty good, pretty good wrap. And so there you have it. You've got a, and I kind of went fast, but no, no, uh, no splitting, no kinking, and you got a very nice coil. And you can pretty much pull it as hard as you want. I went a little bit fast. And so I'll just let this thing sit on here. Sun's beating down on it, starting to melt. And as soon as that melts, all the water will run out. And you've made yourself a, a nice little heat exchanger that you can obviously cut off and, and add on there. And so that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make a, a water heater out of this coil. So I've got a nice 4 inch. Let's see what size it is. You got some spring back course but my ID on this is right on the money I'm four inch four inch O ID so it's exactly what I wanted I've got a it's about a three and seven eighths I uh, OD pipe so with the ice in there you can pull it real tight so I didn't get a lot of spring back see the water dripping out of it now anyway just another prepper tip Want to bend copper tubing? Just fill it with water, freeze it, 
bandit done. No reason to buy anything fancy, no reason to buy uh, casting compounds. See the water dripping out now? So in about five minutes, uh, the water will pour right out of that. So anyway, another prepper tip from Engineer 775. Thanks for watching.